What's going on everyone? We're back again. Going to try and keep things going. As you know, I took a break for a while. Trying to get back at it, but today's video is on the ZR2 Colorado. I pointed that on the screen as if you could see that, but yeah. Show you what we got going on. So those of you that have followed the channel for quite a while know that I'm good friends with 454 Chewy. He um, does porting. Started off with just throttle bodies, so we sent that out. Colorado's throttle body and intake manifold. He did a damn good job. I uh, had him send me some videos before and after because you can't even, obviously you can't see how it looked before. So I'll just pull those up real quick so you can see how, I don't know, even know what GM was thinking. But yeah, I'll pull that up real quick and uh, show you what he did. So you see what I mean? They put these stupid like baffle things. I don't even know what 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 they what, what they're good for other than blocking airflow. But at any rate, um, we got this off and sent out to them. Got it back now. We're gonna put it back on. I did not do a uh, removal, I guess, video like how to disassemble it, remove it, whatever, because I didn't know how to do it. So I was just kind of you know working my way through it. I'm looking at it. It's got a bolt on this side that was hanging me up. Um, these bolts down the middle. Um, this truck is direct injection, so there's no fuel rails or anything that go to the intake manifold. Not like the old school 5.3s where they're port injected. The injectors go through the runners. So that was one thing that made it a little bit easier, but you uh, have some... You know, the, I think this is the EVAT purge or something back here and the bolts face towards you. Um, the PCV hose goes there. Um, there's a cover that goes on it. This guy, that has to go on this before you put it in. There's not enough room to get it out between the truck and this, so make sure you put that on. Um, I'm going to go take all the covers and everything off the engine. Turn the heater on for a second because it's freezing out here, but I will power through it. I got the battery charger hooked up. It's been sitting for about two weeks now. Not quite two weeks, but anyway. So, let's see if I can show you guys what I was talking about. So, there are two bolts back here that are facing towards you. Those are kind of a pain. I didn't see those for a while. I fought it and finally figured it out. Um, the PCV system I was telling you about that clips onto the back, EVAP purge, that goes on the side. Um, you see all the fuel rails are down here because they're high pressure, direct injection. So I'll just leave that. Um, clean up the surface as good as you can. I vacuumed it out, so no debris gonna get in there. So they put these like sound deadening things over everything. Um, this clips on to the intake tube. I think this does as well. I'll show you that. I believe this is for the throttle body. And that's it. So this comes out pretty easy, actually. Not bad. So I'm going to get all this off and we'll get the 
intake placed in. Let's see if we, hopefully it doesn't fight me too much. It came out pretty easy. This was kind of a pain to get off, but going in it's easy because it just snaps in. But uh, yeah, okay, well, there we go. So that, I guess. Cool. And I guess it's worth mentioning, this is a 2018 Colorado ZR2 3.6, not diesel, obviously. Um, some people may, may or not know, I don't know, but uh, it is ZR2 3.6 V6. I don't know if it's the same for the earlier V6s or not. I think this is the newer one, but they look the same to me, so I'm sure it's similar. Okay, intake is on, it is torqued. From what I could find, these are 18 foot-pounds, and that feels plenty tight for those. Um, this is the heat shield on here, obviously. Like I said, I put this on before. Manifold goes in. It's got three screws that hold it on. Um, the fourth screw looks the same. Holds the map sensor. Got the EGR, not EGR, the EVAP purge solenoid. And there. Don't forget that little 10 millimeter bolt that on and then there's the two bolts right there okay so now we're going to put the intake cover tube on so the intake tube is actually part of the cover obviously you got the boot that goes around there and this that's one of the breather hookups the other side of the crankcase ventilation and i think that is it and it has three bolts to hold it down we got one two three so here's the cover like i said it's like a part of the engine cover so there's that pcv hookup and that's really oh and then that big fitting whatever that hell that's for but yeah that's it and that's it. So we got her all buttoned up. I was wrong. I have no idea what that mount is for. But that one is the third screw or bolt. That one. One down there. And one right there. So we're all buttoned up. Um, one thing to keep in mind. Because the throttle body is ported. These electronic throttle bodies adjust themselves over time to adjust for the carbon buildup. So it might idle high. Um, you just need to drive it. Or if you have a deal that you can do a relearn or whatever, that's the fastest way, but it needs to be driven. So we're gonna do the first startup. All right, she's cold and she's been sitting for almost two weeks, like I said. Woo! No idling issues at all. Oh, I did forget to hook up the PCV. Whoops. <laughs> Hell yeah. Nice and stealthy. So, I guess all I'm about to do is take it for a ride, let it warm up, and uh, get a first reaction. So it's been a while since I've had something ported, so I get kind of used to how things drive. And uh, I gotta say, I haven't even gotten on it yet. Just took off out of the driveway, and it's so much smoother and like, I mean, with less throttle, it just takes off nice and easy. We'll let the transmission warm up a little bit, and we'll uh, see just how much difference you feel in the seat. No dyno numbers yet. We never did do it before, obviously, but um, now that this is ported, um, probably take it and get it dyno tuned. It doesn't really need to be dyno tuned, but I'm pretty sure that's what the shop I'm taking it to does anyway. They do dyno street tuning, so we get it after anyway. All right, so it's kind of shifting a little weird. Not like, it's just, just different. I shouldn't say weird. Um, so it's got some relearning to do, so I'm not gonna do some wide open pulls just yet. Um, like I said, these new newer vehicles, especially, um, they need the relearn. So now that you're getting more airflow, um, throttle body is going to be in a different position, letting more or less air in. So it needs to just relearn itself. So just drive it, drive it normal. I know it's tempting to go out and floor it, but 
and I, I mean, I guess an older truck you can, because I definitely did on my 2002, but it had to drive by cable throttle body. Just going to be out cruising for a bit. So I do also think it's worth mentioning that it could be shifting weird because it sat for two weeks and it has been pretty cold the last week. Been down to like 10, 20 degrees right around there with the highs of 30 to 40. So been sitting a bit and, you know, needed to knock the dust off. All right, well, I'm happy with that. Um, you guys know Chewy has ported every vehicle I've owned. This is my 02, it looks like a 06 now. Can't really see, Never mind. Um, our old Colorado, when I had my Audi, all that, but does a great job, check him out. I'll leave a link to all of his stuff in the description. Um, I can already tell, like I said, I didn't really get on it too hard because it needs to relearn, but I could tell the throttle response is there. It's like, it, it has increased significantly. Um, big complaint I had about this truck was throttle response, because I, I, I think GM puts it in their tuning just for an emissions thing, I don't know. Anyway, it's better, it'd be even better with the tune, but really happy with this. Um, I think it's the best bang for your buck. Um, if you saw the intake on these, they're pretty straight. There's not a lot of weird bends and stuff, so I don't know if a colder intake would necessarily be beneficial. Maybe it would, but um, I would do this first, anyway. But yeah, all the stuff in the description below. Um, yeah, check them out. Thanks for stopping in.